Okay, Larry DeVizio here. I'm going to do something with a little fire starter thing today. Saw one of the guys I follow on YouTube do it. It's uh, using wax-coated jute. I made this one way too short. Let me pick out this one, which has just been soaking in hot wax. We've got to let it cool for a little. These things work amazingly well. The person I saw do this is Winter Trekker on YouTube. Man is a wealth of knowledge. I'm not talking about like, oh, I tested this and did that. This guy goes on on two-week, three-week solo trips in Canada in his canoe. The man knows what he's doing. And if there's anybody that you want, if you have want to just watch a guy who really knows how to operate in the outdoors and is super knowledgeable about it, watch him. And I'll put a link to uh, his channel on mine at the bottom of the description here. Okay, so I soaked this in hot wax. You can see it's gone. I've got a piece of brake line here that I bought at like the auto parts place. And you feed it up through. You got the flared end so it makes it easy. Now, this is the beauty of it. Okay. You can see how when you play with the fibers on the end, you can get them to separate still. Jute, by the way, is the second largest natural fiber out there after cotton. Or it might be the first. All depends who you ask. If you ask the International Jute Board, a lot of it's used to, and I love this, bind cotton bales. But jute fiber is a pretty important resource for a lot of places. So you get it and you fluff it up real good on the end. This is just so simple. You fluff it up. And excuse me if I don't get it lit on the first shot here. You take your fire steel and put some sparks on it. And there you go. Now, you can use it to light whatever you want to light. You can light more jute. You can stick it out further if you need a bigger wick because that's what you're creating. And you can see how hard the darn thing is to put out. Okay, so you can set this in your fire to start your fire, whatever, and you get a good long burn time. If it starts burning down, you just stick it out further. Do not make them short like I did. I made it too short and I had a problem with it. I ended up shoving it through and couldn't get it back. So you're done. You got your fire started. Pull it back in. It goes out. Now, there's melted wax in there, right? Once it cools, it will be covered with wax again. It's perfect. Now, I'm going to try to find a little camp to go on here. But the other thing you can do, and you'll see this in Winter Hikers vid, what he did is he drilled a tiny hole here and put a string and attached it to here. Me, I'm going to take a zip tie, one of the plastic zip ties I have, and put it on there. And that will hold it in place and you're not going to lose anything so even if it came out you're like oh okay i didn't lose my tube but you can see it goes right back in and i could have probably let this soak a little longer so that's it that's all you got to do is you soak braid up some uh, jute twine which i got at the dollar store three of these for a buck braid it up and you are good to go. It works fantastic. Bunches up a little bit, as you can see, but hey, not bad. So, that's all. Easy to make jute. I don't know if you want to call it fire starter or ignition helper or whatever you want to call it. It's an instant match. Because that's basically what you're doing. Is you're creating a giant, well, a wick. Just like if you were making... Uh, dipped candles oh wood's a little soft kind of sunk in here but yeah this is all you got to do there you go okay it took me a few tries but 
there you go. And you can use this to light your fires, man. You know. There you go. Let me start this. But yeah, it... You can see I had some of the uh, stuff in there from the striker, from the uh, ferro rod. That's it. But yeah, let it soak good. I might not have let it soak long enough. And uh, because the wax is kind of breaking up here. But super simple to make, cheap. The this not, this this pipe cost me more than the, the jute. You know, it was like three bucks or something. I cut it in half, I can make two of them. Next one I make, I'm gonna be careful and really let that thing soak in some hot wax. And it could be the kind of wax I'm using too. I'm using from an old candle. So that's it. Super simple to do. Hey, Larry DeVizio here. Get out, have some fun in the outdoors. And uh, don't forget your Juke Fire Starter. And check the link below for Winter Tracker. Extremely well worth channel to watch. Guy really knows what he's doing. Okay, Larry DeVizio out. You have, get out, have a good time out there.